Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we'll understand the basics of a new data structure that is linked list this is another video in the free dsc series that we are building for you so that you thrive high in your career so before i begin with linked list i sincerely suggest you you go ahead and first of all watch the arrays or watch the basics of array at least fine in this playlist only you will find the introduction to arrays at least brush up it again so that you can understand the linked list better fine let's dive in deep and let's understand what exactly is a linked list so before i explain you what exactly is a linked list give me a moment to tell you that how array looks into the memory so consider that this is your memory space so if i take these four contiguous memory locations i can name them as array and now i can put some values here 10 this 10 is not quite visible so let's change the ink this will work 10 15 16 17 these can be added right so if i add these kind of elements this is an array and this is a contiguous scheme of memory allocation fine so here you have contiguous memory locations for storing any data now in this case there is a glitch or there is one limitation if i want to remove this element then i cannot leave it empty like this first of all i need to shift all these elements backwards fine i need to shift it here i need to shift this here fine so i need to shift them backwards so when i am i guess these arrows can be more visible if i draw them with the green so let's yes so you need to shift them backwards so that you have the last block of this contiguous memory as empty and you cannot leave something empty in between arrays that's not the general convention right so it's not the right way in this case there's one more limitation if i have allocated this much memory fine i have given four memory blocks consider that i have just one element fine and i have given the four blocks to it fine now in these four blocks anything that i store would belong to this array if i want to store something that doesn't belong to this array this has to be mandatorily stored outside of these four blocks fine so there is a space limitation i am confined ye dikkat hai na agar main chahta ye khali space hai i want ki main yahan pe koi element dal paun par nahi dal pa raha hu kyun ये एक एरे है तो मुझे इसी के सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ डेटा रखना पड़ेगा फॉर एग्जांपल एक एग्जांपल देता हूं मान लो एक इंटीजर टाइप की एरे थी ठीक है दिस वाज एन इंटीजर एरे अब मुझे चाहिए था एक कैरेक्टर फाइन मैंने मान लो एक कैरेक्टर लिखा ये ए मुझे कैरेक्टर स्टोर करना था अब क्या करूं नाउ इफ इमेजिन दट ऑल दिस वॉज फिल्ड ऑल दीज ब्लॉक्स वर फिल्ड एंड आई हैड ओनली this much space these three blocks to add anything in that case if these four are declared in array agar ye charon ko array mein declare kiya hai i cannot store this character into an integer array right now these three locations are fixed for any integer value ab this is not a very efficient way of allocating memory or i cannot say that this is the best use of the memory no it's not that is why linked list comes into play fine so if i give you a rough way how linked list behaves then consider this is one node i'll explain you what exactly a node is but consider this is the terminology node fine so just map it in your mind that there is something called as node so if this is the one node another node can be here fine and then another node can be here fine and then another node can be here so this is a linked list and how a linked list behaves what exactly a node is we'll study don't worry par abhi aisa socho ke isn't it a very good way of allocating memory now in this case if i want to store this character somewhere here i can i am not bound by the location of the memory mujhe ikatthe wo block chahiye aisa nahi hai i don't want that complete block together i can use the individual pieces 
I'll tell you what exactly I'm saying. There is one more example I can give you. Now consider I'll clear all the ink on this board. Fine. So if I tell you that I have a few numbers with me. Fine. Say 14, 15, 17, 19, 21, 34, 36, 37, 41, 42, 43, 45, fine, and 47, 49, 50. Now, in this case, I am telling you that you want to store, this is how these blocks are filled, leave it, which data structure is filled, hai? fine, leave it. I am saying, you have to store five more elements. Now, there is one way that you have an integer array, banao, फिर एक ये बनाओ फिर एक ये बनाओ दिस इज वन वे इज दिस एन एफिशिएंट वे नो इट्स नॉट आल्सो यू वुड नॉट गेट अ सिंगल डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इन टर्म्स ऑफ एरे यू विल हैव टू मेक थ्री डिफरेंट एरेज टू डू दिस सो व्हाट यू कैन डू नाउ लिंक लिस्ट कम्स इनटू प्ले नाउ इफ लिंक लिस्ट इज यूज्ड देन आई कैन स्टोर ऑल द एलिमेंट्स हियर इटसेल्फ सी I took one element, then this would redirect me here, fine. Then this would redirect me here in a linked list setup. This would redirect me here and this would redirect me here. So these nodes will have the addresses to other. So this advantage you have in linked list. But how do you do that exactly? How does this happen? So let's understand the linked list in detail now. Now you know why this data structure can be used. Why do we need this data structure despite having arrays? Jab tak zarurat samajh mein aaye kisi cheez ki, logic nahi samajh mein aata ki kyun chahiye wo? We had arrays, we were storing things. Why do we need another similar kind of data structure? Hai na? With a few differences. Why do we need this? Jab tak uska basic clear nahi hoga, you'll never know the need of linked list. Fine. So now, let's understand that. This is a node, fine. <coughs> this is a node. Now, this node has two portions. One is the value portion, fine. And the other one is pointer to next node, fine. So, this is a node. In this, you have a value one part contains value in a node and the other part contains pointer to the next node. Basically, it has the address of the next node. How come? Now, how list is formed? A group of nodes interconnected forms a linked list. See how? This is one more node. Fine. This is another node. This is another node. And then again, one more node. Fine. So in this case, what is happening? See, you have value 1 here, you have value 2 here. Now you have pointer, this pointer will point to this particular node. Pointer here will point to this particular node. You will have another value here, say value 3, fine. And you have a pointer here. So one part contains value, one contains pointer. You have this here, you have value. 4 here, pointer to the next node here, fine. And then you have value 5 and wherever it ends, you have a null pointer in the end. To begin the linked list, you have a head pointer, fine. So this is a head pointer. If there is one element only, then you have head pointer here and null pointer here, fine. Single element. If you have multiple elements, you will have pointer to next node, then next node, then next node, like that, fine. So there is pointer as well. So this is a linked list. This is a benefit of linked list that you have such arrangement where you have pointer to one node, then to other node, then to other node like that. For example, now consider this will have a value. Let's let's erase all the ink here and let's see how it behaves. Fine. So this will have some value. Let's add some values here. 15, 14, 17, 19, 21, fine. In this case, if you carefully see, this portion 
will have this particular if it is a linked list then this is the value one more portion would exist where pointer to this particular node would exist fine then a pointer to this particular node would exist in the pointer part of this node if this is also a node then pointer part would exist for this particular node then the same happens here fine pointer part exists for this node fine so that's how you have linked lists and i'll make this diagram again where we had linked lists so even if i have three nodes it can be called a linked list so value 1 pointer 1 pointer 1 points to the next node value 2 pointer 2 pointer 2 points to the next node value 3 and a null pointer say and you have a head pointer pointing at the head of the list now whatever is the head of the list is the first node fine it is the first node of the linked list and others follow up after the pointer fine now the benefit of this is you can add and delete anywhere now say i had another few more nodes in this let's let's consider a few more nodes here and i have pointer 3 here which points at this particular node here i have pointer 4 you have value 4 then this pointer 4 points out at another node which has value 5 pointer 5 now in this case when you have such link list if i want this value to be deleted i can straight away delete it in arrays what was the problem if this is an array if you are having such four elements and you have 15 16 17 18 if i have to delete this 16 if i delete it then i have to push these elements backwards i have to change their positions these are order of n operations fine here you can do it in order of one operations this is the benefit that it offers fine so if i want what i can do is i straight away remove this node fine and whatever value pointer 4 was carrying basically the address of this particular node the address of this particular node would be put here so i am saying that simply change the values here fine simply change the values here you put ptr4 or the value that pointer 4 was pointing at you put it here and all you have to do is you start pointing to this particular node straight away fine so you can simply delete one node you can also add one node anywhere for example i want one node to be added between these two fine so what i'll do is i create another value uh, say value six and i create a new pointer pointer four pointer four five exists so pointer six i make pointer six so what i can do is now addition can happen anywhere now if i want what i can do is I change this address I make pointer 2 to point at this node and pointer 6 to point at this node this is not available this luxury is not available with arrays fine in this in order of one operation you can do this whereas in arrays this is not possible fine so that's the advantage that linked list offers and this is basically linked list linked list yeah, hota hai. Now there is a circular link list, hota hai, double link list, hota hai. We'll, we'll study about it, double link list, circular link list, we'll study about that in the subsequent videos. Also we'll study some limitations, there are some limitations about link lists which we'll study in the next video and then we'll realize what benefits it offers and what disadvantages it offers. Right now you know the benefits, mota mota you know that how the benefits of link list work find what what exactly the benefits are you know it but after this video you will not be knowing disadvantages so for that in the next video i'll be coming up with the limitations of link list i hope that clears pretty much about link list how it works how it gets initialized everything in the code portion we'll discuss it later on but right now you need to focus on the basics how linked list works what exactly this data structure is so i hope that's pretty much clear if there is any doubt 
tell me in the comment sections because the comment section if filled properly or if you comment things that are actually genuine if you're facing any genuine problem or you like this video or anything that you want to comment or you want to reach out to us you can reach out in comment section and top three comments might stand a chance to win prep insta prime subscription for free follow us on these social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update and do follow and do subscribe this channel like this video if you really found it good press on the bell icon because i'm regularly posting this and this will help you a lot in your dsa journey fine apart from this whatever good you found in this particular video go ahead spread it to whoever needs it your junior your senior beat anybody go ahead spread it to them make them learn the new things keep doing good without any expectation good will come back to you have a wonderful day ahead that's all for today